David Taub here, co-creator of Next Level Guitar. Thanks for joining me. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a lesson where I'm going to show you some beautiful, melodic sounding, um, even a little dissonant sounding too, chords. And these are really pretty chords, and you could use these as substitutions in a lot of the songs maybe that you're playing, and in a lot of the progressions maybe that you're writing. Um, I, can, I threw them all together in a little progression that you heard me play in the intro and it's really important um, as a player to really build a big vocabulary of chords and you have a lot of different things to choose from because you know especially in the beginning sometimes we just get stuck in that you know this first position playing those open position cowboy chords E minor right C and D and G right and A minor right and those are great but you know after a while, it gets a little bit boring and we find ourselves stuck in the same thing. This will get you moving around on the fretboard a little bit and, and open you up to some new voicings. And you could play these on electric or acoustic. I'm using the acoustic today, but they sound great on electric, especially with a little delay and maybe a little bit of reverb. You keep expanding your chord vocabulary and no matter what level of player you are, you can always learn some new chords. And this lesson, if you're just starting out, is great because it'll take you out of those open position chords that you've probably been playing all the time. If you're a little bit further on, a more intermediate player, this lesson will be good too because maybe it'll show you some chords that you weren't playing before that you could really use throughout your playing and your guitar journey. And if you have a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, that really helps us. It helps us to keep the content coming. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you would like to see. Let us know how you like this lesson, what you'd like to see in future lessons, what gear you'd like to see reviewed. And also, if you like the video, click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. In the beginning, the progression I played was in the key of E minor. There was one chord in there that uh, was outside the key, but I'll do that sometimes. I'll, I'll put in an outside chord just to throw a curveball once in a while. But basically, we're in the key of E minor. And the first chord I played was an E minor add nine. This is a beautiful chord. And all these chords today, no bar chords, and it's going to have a lot of open strings ringing. Here we have the open E, B, and G string. Beautiful chord. You could substitute that for an E minor chord. Right? Or another chord you might like is this one. That has a beautiful dissonance. That's an E5 with a sharp 11. But again, we have those strings, those high strings ringing. The second chord I played was this guy here, A minor 9. Again, you have the high strings ringing, the high E and the B. That's a really nice chord. We're just adding the ninth or B, B note to our uh, A minor chord, making it an A minor nine. You can also play the chord this way if you want to stretch. Really beautiful chord. You could substitute that for an A minor chord in your progressions, right? Another really cool A type chord that I can put into this progression or your progressions is this one. That has that cool haunting dissonance. That's an A5 sharp 11, kind of similar to that E5 sharp 11 I showed you earlier. There's that sharp 11, right? Right, so you just play like an A suspended chord. If you're not familiar with that, it's just first and second fingers on the D and G string, second fret. Everything else open. That's a pretty chord too, right? That's an A suspended second. If you move that up to that fifth fret, there's that A minor 9 I showed you before, right? But the second fret, A sus 2, and then with your pinky, grab that B string, fourth fret. It's a little bit of a stretch. It's an E flat note. Pretty dissonant, right? That's a cool chord. Now the next chord I played was a variation on a D minor chord. It was a D minor add 9, where I'm adding the high E string open. They said, I'm not playing a bar chord. If you want to think about this real easy terms, take your A minor open chord played with your second, third, and fourth fingers. 
and slide that up to the sixth fret. Right? But hook your first finger on the D note, fifth fret A string. And that's a D minor add nine. Notice I'm not flattening the first finger and playing like a D minor bar chord. No bar chords this, but no bar chords this lesson. But see how that doesn't ring out. And have the dissonant, have that little melodic note there, that ninth, that uh, high E string. The next chord I played um, was a C major seven. Again, top three strings open. All right, now that looks like your C chord that you're probably familiar with, that you've played a gazillion times, your basic C major. Just take off the first finger and you have a C major seven. Isn't that pretty? Major sevens have that jazzy sound, have that sweet, dreamy sound. And you could even play this in this instance with your first and second fingers, depending on what chord you go to next, right? And if you need help with your chord changing, because you want to make sure you're using the proper chord changing skills, that really will help you along in your guitar journey, and you won't have to undo any bad habits. But I can help you with that. Click on the link below. I'll send you my free video lesson on five essential chord changing skills, as well as I give you a ton of practice exercises that'll really blast your chord changing to the next level. You want to practice your chord changing, you need some work, click on that link below. I'll send it to you for free. And from that C major 7, I went to a G major 7. Another really beautiful chord, right? Now on this chord, make sure you kind of hook that second finger over because you want to mute the A string. You don't want to hear it. Another chord I'll substitute that for in a minor situation, um, and I'll play it the next time around because it still will work substituting it, is this G minor sixth. It has that cool kind of dark foreboding sound, right? That minor sixth. Again, we're not playing the A string. And then after the G chord, I went to this chord, which is awesome. Again, we're not barring. I'm hooking my first finger over uh, to play this F sharp note on the second fret of the low E string, and then I'm playing uh, F sharp 11, right? So basically it's like an F sharp bar chord, except I'm hooking, I'm not barring, because I'm getting the open high E and the B. That's a really beautiful chord. So that's 10 really cool, melodic, beautiful chords that you can add to your chord catalog and try substituting them and try them in some of your songs or in some of your progressions or if you're writing something. They are just pretty and beautiful and dissonant and sound really cool and get you thinking a little bit outside the box. Take them and um, let's do, I'll, I'll throw a bunch of them together again in a similar progression just so you could hear them. Uh, maybe something like... This lesson helps you along in your musical journey. It was so much fun to bring it to you and I appreciate you watching. Take the chords, kind of mix them up, spin them around, put your own spin on it and give them a try. Have fun with them. They're beautiful and pretty and haunting and you could write all kinds of cool stuff with it. Keep practicing. Keep staying positive. Put that guitar in your hands every day. Remember, subscribe to the channel. That's really important as that helps keep the content coming. Please leave a comment below. And if you like the video, give it a like, um, click the thumbs up button. I so appreciate it. I'm David Taub, co-creator of Next Level Guitar. Stay tuned. Lots more lessons coming. Lots of great content. And remember one thing. Your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on.